Hello everybody. I look a little bit different today and that is because I bought this hat. Well, my morning started off with me going to Tahitian dance class and then we all hung out. We drank some beverages, took a couple shots and now I'm here at my parents house because I ship all of my packages here just because I think it's easier for the mailman to deliver my packages here. Great things are going to happen today. Today is Saturday, so I thought I would try to do a little weekend in my life. I really don't know what I have planned, um, but I hadn't been to my hula studio in I don't even know how long. It must be at least a year and a half like since I've been there, which is crazy because I started dancing with them when I was like eight years old, and um, it's just been a while. I haven't really been dancing, but I would love to get back into it. They are doing this big performance at the end of September, which is called PIFA. It's the Pacific Islander Festival Association, and they have like a festival at Ski Beach every year in San Diego, and my halal usually performs there. So I think I might start going to practices regularly so I can perform. I've got packages here for us to open. I don't remember what this is, to be honest. Oh, a water bottle. It's like a foldable water bottle because I've been walking my dogs in the morning and my hydro flask is just way too big to be carrying around. So I got that. I got a couple more portable water bottles so they will stick to my bag or whatever it is. It's this satin dress that was kind of viral on TikTok. Um, it's like a long dress, white. I got the white color. I need to try it on. Hopefully it fits me. I feel like this boob area is very tiny. We have this pink tank top. And then I picked up these jeans because I've seen a lot of people wearing Zara jeans and I wanted to try them out. I do not own a pair of Zara jeans. I think these are going to be too long, so I'm going to have to cut them. I got a black tank top. Oh, I'm still missing a piece, but I ordered a suit, I guess, a matching, um, what's it called? Suit jacket with bottoms, matching bottoms, just because I think I'm going to be getting a new job very soon and i wanted something in case i have to go into an interview or if i have to go into the office and i didn't want to wear all black because i think that's a little bit basic so i got a beige bottom with the matching top but the top isn't here yet so these are the bottoms and it came with a belt and it's i think a little bit more high rise i don't really have many work items because I've been working from home ever since I graduated college, but I thought that I would slowly start to build my wardrobe. We have the most exciting package, which is from Base, and this is Shea Mitchell's brand. I decided that I need an adult luggage. I've been using the same luggage since college, and I just wanted something new. Now, I placed this order first, and then I realized I wanted to make a couple more purchases. So, I have another base order coming. I think it would arrive on Monday or something. So, it will be soon. And I will show you guys. And I'm definitely going to do a review because I think that these pieces are super cute. They are definitely not the cheapest items but i heard they're very high quality so i have high hopes for these i am definitely gonna do a review i will let you know we've all got baggage glad it's base okay so here is the carry-on luggage this is the 21 inch luggage it is the beige color just because the black was sold out and i really like this color i think it might get dirty easily but I saw some videos about it being pretty easy to clean, so we'll see. She is beautiful. 
Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Monday. It is 7 a.m. I am about to drive to my parents' house because I have some packages. And typically when I have a lot of errands to run, I like to bring my dogs over there. I feel it's a lot cooler because I'm up in the mountains, kind of. It's very hot here, so it's much cooler where my parents are, which is closer to the ocean. I am currently in my mom's closet because I actually have a final round of interviews tomorrow for a new job. And I don't really have many work clothes because I have worked from home since I graduated college and they never really cared what I wore and I didn't really have to dress fancy. So I don't really have anything. And so I'm gonna look through her collection of work clothes here and see if I can find something. She has no idea that I'm in here right now, but I think I'm going to grab this button up for the black suit jacket because I'm pretty sure this is black. Yeah, it's like pink and black, so I think that's cute to wear underneath. And then now I want to try to find something for the beige. I feel like something this color or maybe a blue would be nice. We shall see. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this, honestly. I mean, this kind of looks like an old woman's top. However, I feel like the suit doesn't, so it's really not that deep, honestly. As long as you look professional, who really cares? I'm still not quite ready for the day. Like, I haven't really done anything to my face, but I did put on some workout clothes it's very chilly today, which I'm surprised by. I thought it was going to be hot because it's been hot the last week or so. I have my laptop out. I've got a notebook and a pen. I haven't used a pen or paper in a while. But right now, I need to spend like 30 minutes to an hour working on my presentation for tomorrow. So I have to spend 10 minutes basically doing a comparison of the company's competitors, how the software differs from other companies. I have to do like a 30, 60, 90 day plan of how I would like integrate myself into the company and how I would like learn and all that stuff. I'm not really worried because I feel like I've done my homework a bit already because of the other round of interviews that I did for this company. Um, Basically, this company is a tech company, which is exciting. It's not a huge tech company, but they are really rapidly growing, which I love. It's just, it's really time for something new, and I've been feeling that for a, a while. I just don't feel like I've been pushing myself as much as I could. I want to prepare, I need to fix my presentation, and then I want to take notes because I feel like that will really help me draw out exactly what I wanna say. I really like to be prepared when I do presentations. I'm just not the best with winging it and I tend to like go on a rant and I don't wanna miss any important key points. So I'm gonna write it all down. And then at 12.30, I believe, I have a laser appointment for my underarms. So I wanna to try to work out before that because you're not supposed to work out for like 24 hours after you get laser or something like that. <sighs> so I got a bit distracted along the way. I do have a lot of notes. So essentially, these are like my first drafts where I'm just kind of brain dumping and then I'm going to come back later today and fine tune, pick things that are most important and all that good stuff. So I made really good progress with my presentation. It is 11.51 already. I don't know why it's so late, but I do not have time to work out before. So I guess I won't be working out today. I do have errands to run after my laser appointment. What I love about laser is it takes like five minutes. I am always so shocked at how quickly I get in and get out. I got a couple more packages in. Oh, I know. Okay. I'm done with packages except a couple more items from base and then that's it. I have no other packages coming. 
the matching top to the pants came in so i'm excited to try this on this is like the first matching set that i have ever purchased and i'm already 24 years old which is a little bit sad but it's mostly because i was working from home and there was just never a need hopefully this fits me because i don't really feel like exchanging or returning so we shall see then aritzia was having their clientele sale i placed a couple orders looks like this is the stuff that was in stock there's some other things that were on back order first up is this button-up shirt which was on sale so that is great and it's just white i love getting my basics from aritzia and i got this it's like an oatmeal color i do really like their little t-shirts super cute and the last thing that came in from Aritzia is this top. I actually got a matching set, so I bought the matching like sweat shorts, and I think that's going to be so cute for summer. So yeah, it's just like a bright pink. I don't really wear pink that much, but I do like the color, so that is that. I am going to put some clothes away and head back to my place. It is already 3, I think. It is so hot right now. I am sweating, but I just wanted to show you really quickly. I definitely think the pants need to be tailored a bit because they're kind of long, but I think that I can work with this. Like, it fits me pretty well, especially the top. I think maybe I could have gotten an extra small in the bottoms, but I think I'm just going to make it work and get it tailored. Good morning, everybody. Today is... Wednesday, so I didn't vlog yesterday. I had a lot going on. I will catch you up on that later But right now I am about to take my dogs out to the bathroom and then Get ready and we're gonna go on a hot girl walk. We're gonna walk my dogs this morning I tried to do this so my mom usually walks them five miles on the weekend and then I try to walk them two or three times and then the other days we just kind of play fetch in the backyard but today we're gonna go on a walk. I used to be very nervous walking both of them together. We're definitely still working on it. It's a work in progress. Like at first, at the start of the walk, they are a little bit crazy, mostly but he's like pulling, I'm holding on for my life. We need to work on leash manners. But after like 15 minutes or so, he kind of settles down and it's much better to walk them both together. It is getting a little bit hot outside because it is later. It's around 8 already. So I need to hurry because it gets very hot up here and then the concrete is too hot, but I think we're okay for now. But it's definitely getting toasty, so I am going to get ready quickly. Got to put my contacts on, which have been really, really amazing. I love contacts. Well, I'd rather not have to have glasses or contacts, but if I had to choose, I would obviously choose contacts. Gonna use some sunscreen, obviously. This is the Shiseido 50 Plus. I love that it's a stick and I can put it over makeup without it ruining my makeup. I'm like almost done. I'm like using the very last bit of it. Wow. I feel like it's scraping me now. I don't know how I'm supposed to get the rest of it. Okay, so this outfit is so not it. It's like so confused. It is not cohesive whatsoever, but oh well. Just got on some gray shorts, this golden bears tank top, go bears, Aritzia bucket hat because I am trying to protect myself from the sun. And then I'm gonna test out my fanny pack. We are on our hot dog mom walk. They are sniffing. I'm trying to be better about giving them an opportunity to smell stuff. I think we're gonna shoot for 45 minutes to an hour of a walk, which is typically about three miles. So we're just kind of walking around. It's not too hot and there's a lot of shady areas, so that's good. Bo's usually the one that gets tired. Bondi can walk as long as she needs to. Hello, everyone.
everyone we are now at the gym we are going to get a workout in look at us being productive today i had some cleaning to do and i did some work that i had to get done i got new headphones i don't know if i ever showed it in a vlog but i really wanted to get the apple air maxes because i am basic and they are so cute but the fact that they're $500 and based on the reviews, like they're not the best out there, I just could not bring myself to buy them. Even though normally I would, I'm that girl that would just buy them anyway because I really like them, but I didn't. So I'm proud of myself, but every time I see them, I'm like regretting the fact that I got ones that are not those. Either way, these are Sony headphones I don't even know what the style is but they're gray these are also cute I just don't think they're as cute as the <laughs> airpod maxes but they're really good quality like the minute these are on it is very hard to hear which is also a little bit scary and I have to be careful with that very very nice um they get super loud they're a little bit big. Sometimes it feels like they're going to fall off. They haven't yet, but sometimes it feels that way. But these were like $300 or something, so definitely cheaper than the Air Max. The, wait, what's it called? Definitely cheaper than the AirPod Maxes, although I would have loved to have those. Hello, everybody. Today is Friday. Happy Friday. It's later in the afternoon came to my parents' house because we've got our second base package. I told you guys I have some other pieces coming in the mail and they have arrived and I am so excited. And I also have to tell you guys about some other exciting news. So anyway, let's start off by opening this baby up. First, I got these little mesh bags because oh I thought these would be great to hold my chargers and other electronic cords and then other small miscellaneous items. I like that I can see exactly what's in it so it'll be easier to find. I got the mini weekender bag. I was originally going to get the full size, but from what I've seen, the full size can be way too big as a personal item on a flight, so I wanted to make sure that it would fit. She is stunning. Oh. I am nervous about the taupe color, and I know it's going to get dirty more easily, but I just love this color. Like, I'm not really a black type of girl. I'm more of a taupe, a beige, white, that, those types of colors. I really like the doctor opening. I feel like that's very convenient and nice and easy. There are tons of little pockets in here. There is a little laptop sleeve. Oh, I'm so excited. And then you can put shoes down here, which I am very excited about. I feel like shoes is always something that I have trouble packing. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. And it's got like a mesh cover over it, so I love that. I will show you guys this bag with the suitcase in a second. But, beautiful, and I'm like I said before, after I go on like my first trip with this bag, which will be in July, I will give you all a review. And the last item I got was kind of random, but I'm actually going to need it. I got a work tote. She is large and in charge. Do you see this? I got this work tote because I am going to be going into an office twice a week. I will tell you guys more about that in a sec, but I thought it was time to invest in a work tote. I am a working woman, and so I felt like I needed a work tote. I don't know. I just, 
I like to carry a lot of things, and I felt like the little one just wasn't going to cut it. I don't know what I'm going to put in this yet, other than, like, my laptop, everyday necessities, some snacks. I don't know. I was thinking I would need, like, a separate lunchbox for the office. I have no idea. But it is huge. It has a laptop sleeve. It's got... A, um, or like it has a pocket, a large divider type thing. It's got a laptop sleeve, a couple pen holders. She is ginormous. Let me kind of show you. I don't know. Like I might look a little bit ridiculous, but honestly, I am always one to have a ton of stuff. So... I feel like I was really gonna need all the space. Okay, so this is what she looks like. The lighting is kind of bad, I apologize, but she's so cute. Love it, love to see it. I really, really like that it comes with this. I forget what the name is for this, but it just attaches on to the suitcase amazingly. I won't have to carry anything on my back. I usually bring a backpack and my suitcase and I always carry my bag on my back. But this time, I won't have to. I think I mentioned that I was looking for a new job. And my next goal was either to stay in the beauty space because I really enjoy it. Or it was to get a job in tech. And if you don't know, it is very difficult to get a job in tech, especially for a large company, unless you have some sort of connection. It's so hard. I've seen a lot of people uh, do internships in order to like land a full-time position. I feel like that's one of the better routes to go if you don't have any connections. It's just extremely difficult to get a job at a large tech company. That's definitely like maybe a long-term goal of mine only because I want to see what it would be like. I don't really know. I really wanted to land a job for a tech company and so I was just kind of looking at mid-market sized companies. So nothing too big but not really a startup per se. Applied for some positions in sales actually not marketing. I want to try something else right now. I just feel like I'm very early on in my career and I don't 100% know if marketing is the path for me. I really enjoy it. I think it's fun. Long story long, I was offered a sales position for a tech company and I accepted and I'm going to be starting in a couple of weeks. So I am excited and nervous because with sales, there's like quotas to me and stuff and I've haven't had a job where there was a set quota that I had to reach so I am nervous about that but I'm very excited because I'm going to be working with a lot of other people which I'm not used to the team that I will be working with is on the younger side and they seem to have really good friendships with each other so I'm excited about that um they're sending me on a trip to headquarters which is in Sunnyvale up north the last company I worked for was more of a startup, smaller company. And so to work for a larger company, they're not ginormous. They're larger, they have headquarters in the Bay. Um, I'm just very excited. Yeah, that's the exciting news that I wanted to share with all of you. I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I think it's long enough. I'm pretty sure my uh, memory card is almost full. I probably need to get a larger one, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. There are some of you that have really stuck with me over the last few years, and I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Comment down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!